What's going on guys? Welcome to my Lost Dimension video for PS3. Just going to show you guys how to get the S rank in Frenzy of Fate. It's going to be a uh, DLC mission. The enemies that I'm going to be fighting are level 50. I am level 42 and those are the characters I will be using for this fight. And then of course uh, I'm going to be using skills that's going to make this battle a lot easier. Followed by using Berserk as well. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. So now the character I will, I will be moving first is uh, Agito, so I'm going to be using him first. I'm going to summon my ally so I, I don't have to move them individually. And it's a good way to uh, waste uh, sanity with Agito as well because um, to use uh, in order to get berserked you have to use all your sanity with that character. So now I'm going to defer my turn back to him. And I'm going to get close to one of the enemies here. I'm going to use quick step to uh, evade all attacks within that whole turn. And of course it's a good way of using up your sanity because quick step requires you to have uh, at least 50%. So now it's Jimeno's turn. I'm going to uh, try to not get too close to Agito because uh, when your character is berserk they're going to... Uh, at least 90% of the times they're going to hit the enemy that's uh, closest to them so you don't want to get your allies too close to the character that's going to uh, become berserked because it's a good chance that they're going to get hit and then also too it's really risky uh, doing this as well because if they have AOE attacks like Agito does then uh, it's most likely that they're going to get hit so you just want them to use mostly single attacks and hope that it works out for you so I used Phase Bomb, got a critical hit, which was nice. I used all my sanity up. He's berserk now. I was able to uh, hit the enemy here. He's going to counterattack, but he's going to miss because I have Quick Step on, which is, uh, I would say, pretty OP. And then also, too, when a character gets berserk, you get feared. And pretty much what fear does is every time you use a skill, it doubles your sanity for that skill. So now he's using Warp Snare because I deferred my turn he's gonna counter attack he's gonna miss automatically because of quick step so now it's Nagi's turn I'm going to do this oh I lied actually not gonna do the same thing what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to use a stability pack to uh, unberserk him so I'm going to deal with him later and now I'm going to use show so what's going to happen here is I'm going to use a skill called Daydream. Pretty much it prevents the enemy from getting a turn and we uh, get our turn back. And I used it because all uh, my sanity is gone now. I'm berserked. So what's going to happen here is uh, he's going to shoot him. He's going to try to counterattack the enemy but he doesn't because of Sho's skill Premolition. Was able to get two critical hits off. And uh, like I said uh, they don't get a turn because of Daydream. And now Sho gets another turn due to berserk he uses mystic shot he critical hits the enemy and he dies in three shots so that was pretty nice so now what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to use a quick step here but uh, took me a while to think about what I wanted to use but I just wanted to be sure that I wanted to use quick step which I did so now I have the uh, my chicks they're all um, they're still feared but that's okay I just use Yoko's go away skill to take out the other enemy that uh, Agito was working on so now I'm going to defer my turn back to him I'm going to focus on another enemy now and then I'm just going to purposely get him berserked like I did earlier on the first enemy here so I wanted to use phase bomb but phase bomb wasn't enough to uh, get him berserked so um, I was kinda thinking about what I wanted to use maybe I wanted to try something different but I still end up using um, quick step just to uh, waste my sanity so I could get berserked because berserk and daydream is going to be like your best friend in this battle and quick step if you're uh, if you're 
characters levels are low like I said the enemies are level 50 and I'm level 42 so the enemy counterattacks doesn't hit me due to quick step so now it's mana's turn I am going to use a stability pack on show here because he does not need to be berserked anymore so now it's Nagi's turn. I'm going to use uh, defer uh, my turn for Agito here. So I'm just going to slowly move up so I don't get attacked. Because like I said, you don't want to get too close. He's going to end up attacking her. And you don't want that. But you can't really do much if he's using an AoE attack. But he uses Warp Snare here, which is good. Nice back attack there. He's going to counterattack. He's going to miss because of quick step. So now it's the enemy's turn. He uses punishing blow. He hits my Nagi, I think. Of course, not Agito because he has quick step, but that is all right. Because I'm just going to resurrect Nagi anyways. It's totally fine. Yoko gets crushed by a crush attack. She's still alive. That is okay. So the enemy is still alive. My uh, quick step went away because the turn ended. Because quick step only works for that whole turn. And then when it ends, it goes away. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to defer my turn. Give it to Ajito so he could uh, take out this enemy. And of course, hoping that he does not use an AoE attack, which he did, and which of course is what you want. At least most of the time when my uh, Ajito is berserked, he usually uses Warp Snare or just hits physically. Rarely he'll use an AoE attack, but you never know. That time just may happen when you don't want it to. So with Himeno, I use a Life Pack Plus on Nagi. She is back into the action. And then I don't need Ajito to be berserk, so I'm just going to use a stability pack. So we just have one more enemy left to take out. I am going to use Daydream to prevent the enemy from attacking, and we pretty much get our turn back. And also too, when you use Daydream, the turn actually doesn't end that turn, so um, you can also, you know, makes it easier getting the S rank a lot more easier as well so now I'm just moving Ajito to the last enemy here using quick step so uh, he pretty much doesn't get hit by anything else because he's already on his deathbed with low HP so I'm just going to use my Yoko here I'm just going to defer my turn to him again and I'm just going to take out the last and final enemy. So I moved him back just a little bit. Just to make sure that no one was in the circle. So now I use Quick Step again on purpose to use my sanity. Now he's berserked. So he uses Tempest here. Luckily nobody was uh, in the circle. That's why I moved him a little bit up. Or a little bit back, I mean. So that was smart on my uh, on my play there. So I'm just going to slowly move her, trying to get my Ajito in the circle so I can use him. I had to get a little close, so that's all right. So now he gets close up to the enemy, hits him in the back. Enemy's gonna counterattack. Misses, of course, because of Quick Step. So now it's Mana's turn. I'm just going to keep doing the same thing here till the enemy is dead. And pretty much I'm not caring if he uses Tempest because the uh, enemy is going to die regardless. So Warp Snare. N very, very, very nice critical hit. 6k. That ended the mission there, so... Um, hopefully you guys enjoy. This is how to get the S rank in uh, Frenzy of Fate, and I will see you guys later.